I'm doing the access practice test that I do in class with the students here. We're working with the Belmont database. The first thing we need to do is to create the relationships between the three tables. We click on database tools, relationships, show table, add each of them, double click on them, close this out. I want contract in the middle just click and move I need to see everything in here just click and pull down here it doesn't have to have the exact name here but I specified the customer ID so I click on customer ID drag it over to here check off the boxes create means you have a relationship here the other relationship is with the contract number if I put it in the wrong place here, like I did here, I say create. It could do it, but you're not going to get the thing here. It can't even do it. So I say OK, cancel. Contract num to contract num. Check off the boxes. One to many. So you got the double ring ceremony, the infinity. Close it out. Say yes. We've got to do a couple of queries. The first one is on the Holland customers. I click on create. I go to query design. I need these two tables here. I need the customer table and the contract table. The fields that I need from the customer table are company. I double click on each one here first name, last name, phone, address, city email address. And then from the other table I need contract number, contract amount, signing date, and contract type. A lot of fields being exhibited in here. And I'm looking for the Holland customers you gotta type in where they are. It's in the city of Holland. I type in Holland. I get quotes. I run the query. As I specified on the test, there's gonna be 12 examples, 12 records. I'm gonna go back into the design view. I could right click in the tab. Um, I don't want the city to show. I uncheck the box. I'm trying to find those worth $35,000 or more and that is in the contract amount and so I put it in the same row greater than equal 35000 do not put uh, commas or dollar signs run it we're down to one I'm gonna save the query it says student name Holland customers and I would just put in my name there it's saved last thing we have to do is we're going to be doing a service fee it's twelve and a quarter percent of the contract amount we're going to format as currency we go over to the right click in the box over there we click on the builder and it's based on the contract amount I double click on it times uh, you can't type in the percent point one two two five say okay double click on the expr leave the colon and i'm going to uh... call it service fee run the query shows it as a number over there but i want it currency go back into design view right click in the column properties currency default is two decimal points run the query go over to the right we've got it formatted we save and exit from it shows the query over there we've got another query to do on paid invoices with penalty so we're going to go into query design and when I specified here uh, include all the tables. Sometimes it doesn't work so I'm just going to add all of these right now. 
So from the customer table, I'm trying to find the company name, phone, first and last name. These are people who are not paying their bills and I have to call them. I'm the credit manager. Now from the invoice table, table we go into invoice number, invoice amount, invoice date, invoice paid. Now I want to find the unpaid bills. That is a yes no for the invoice paid. You type in NO. Do you get that? I just hit the escape key, it works. If you're doing this, you could just keep hitting the pause button while you're watching this on the video here. And what I want to do here, I want to find them for the second half of the year 2011. So I go into the date. I literally type in between 7 1 11 and 12 31 11. It puts little pound signs and other things over there. I'm going to run, I want to sort alphabetically by company name. You can do it over here. Ascending. Run it. I've got 28 records. I'm going to save this. Now, you have to save because you're going to be adding a calculated field. If you don't do that, it's not going to show things. So you want to do the penalty. And I'm going to go into the builder. And it's the invoice amount. And I'm charging 1.4%, so it's 0.014. say OK. You can't hit the Enter key here. Double click on here. The expression 1. I type in the word penalty. Run the query. Go over here. I don't want this showing up invoice paid. I could hide that later, but I want to make it look like currency. I could uncheck this. And I right click here. Properties. Currency. run I got the dollar signs close out of it we've got to do a report and a form and we're done so to do this we're doing a report based on this last query we did I click on here I said to use the report wizard I click on create I click on report wizard and the fields that I want to put in here are the company first name, last name, invoice amount, and penalty. I did not, I, need, I missed the phone number, I just shoot this back. Phone, invoice amount, penalty. So we go to the next step, view the data by customer, next. I don't need to sort or group, and I want to do this block. I go into the next step, and what I want to do is call this deadbeat clients. shows up there I want to put in the uh, opulent theme I right click inside here I click on layout view I click inside here by default this one is doing opulent but you could just click in any one here you do any theme it will pick it up for the following ones now you're trying to get this you're calling up these people here you're not getting the whole phone number you just widen the column and I could move these columns over a little bit 
make this one narrower. I said to try to get it on one page. And then, oops, if I get pound signs, you all know what that means. It's too narrow. And then I could just move these things over. Uh, we could tweak this a lot here. Don't want to spend too long on this here. But if I'm trying to get this on two lines, I could just go into the corner, diagonal arrow, pull it, it goes on two rows there. So you could spend more than a couple of minutes on this. You want to make it look good, okay? Because you're handing this into the boss. You're the credit manager. Last thing he wants to see are missing phone numbers. I close out of this, say yes, it's saved. We want to do a form next. The form that we're going to do, we click on Create, and it's based on the customer table. By clicking on this, you don't have to click over here. You might have to sometimes when you're doing multiple forms or using multiple tables or queries for a form and or a report. And what I said here, put all the fields in here, go to the next step. I said to make this columnar and I want to just call it customer finish this is the opulent theme uh, if you have to do any other little fancy things here like let's say you want thicker borders around something you right click here go into layout view use the shift key You have them all highlighted. Let's say you want a thick or a dotted line around here. You click, you're in the form layout tools. Click on format. You click next to shape outline. You could change the color. You could change the line thickness. You could make it dotted. I wouldn't advocate this type of Christmas tree effect, but you can do a lot of formatting. I don't like it. I undo. I could undo again. I'm back to what I have. That's a summary of the practice test. Save. And if I say compact and repair, I click on file. Compact and repair. Sometimes you get this error, don't worry about it, just say, okay, we're done.